In our Fox 17 Waste Watch tonight, a government agency using your tax dollars to tweet. The U.S. State Department has taken to social media now as a way to combat terrorism. Fox 17's Erica Curry shows us the mixed opinion on this idea tonight. Erica. And it is mixed opinion, Stacey. It seems like there is no middle ground. A government agency actually tweeting the idea that they're counter-tweeting terrorists on our dime is getting a lot of support and backlash, both here in the mid-state and online. Some say it's a lot of money that could be put back into our communities. I don't think it's right. I think there's other things that the taxpayers' money could be used for, for us like making sure the humbly stay warm. Problems close to home where you can see positive change to some is a less risky way to spend taxpayer dollars. But the State Department Center for Strategic Counterterrorism Communications in Washington, D.C. gets $3 million a year in taxpayer money and has developed a social media campaign with no real way to gauge its success. The Think Again Turn Away presence is all over Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, where it has more than 15,000 followers. A State Department press officer tells Fox 17 they are the only U.S. government entity directly confronting violent extremist English language propaganda online. I think it's a smart move, and I, I think that uh, I can support you know anything that we can do to, to combat ISIS. The CSCC developed this English language initiative for under a quarter million dollars. On Twitter, they make multiple posts per day, interacting with terrorists and their supporters, not letting any extremist propaganda go uncontested. It's a move that has garnered both support and backlash as seen on Twitter. If you have that much time to be on Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, anything, I mean, there's more things that needs attention other than wasting our taxpayers' money, tweeting all day. Like, I mean, what are you doing? The State Department says this pilot program is a first step toward filling a gap in what they feel government needs to be doing. The initial pilot program ran from December to August this year, yet there are still several online interactions daily. I was given no response from the State Department when I asked if the program will continue and what's next for it. Erica Curry, Fox 17 News.